Welcome to the wonderful world of CircuitPython. Code plus community. Every single week we have news from around the web of Python running on hardware. We have a newsletter that we do yeah. where it's jam-packed. This week, some of the highlights from the newsletter. We have a guide from Davis Dells and Mike Borella on how to um, convert between CircuitPython and Python code and Arduino. Really handy if you're porting some old code or maybe um, you want to, you know Arduino and you want to learn CircuitPython or vice versa. So this is a very handy guide kind of taking you between total language translation. New on Tindy, a CircuitPython powered keyboard. This is from Andy and it's mini KVD. It's a USB powered um, keyboard based on the Trinket M0 and it has all different sorts of things that you could do. Now Andy's a really talented typography expert and Python program. And this is actually interesting. It's one piece of hardware and you can use either with six keys, yeah. two rotary encoders, one rotary encoder and two buttons. So you can kind of mix and match them. And in the typography world, they all use Python. So this was a great leap for Andy, who's like, I like doing Python anyways, because that's what I do with all these type things. This is a controller. And as you can see, powered by CircuitPython. So this is a little handheld tool with capacitive touchpads just for adjusting type, because he's like constantly tweaking type that's right. up, down, left, right. Let's say he's working on a... Circuit Python keyboard, another keyboard project. Unrelated, but also Circuit Python. AT makers using Circuit Python. We had covered this before. Why Circuit Python is excellent for the assistive technology community. And then my favorite. So this is called Meow Meow, but I call it Meowy Meowy. Um, this is the Meowy Meowy board, and this is from Electronic Cats. And they put in the pull request to support Circuit Python on their board, and now this is a Circuit Python board. So yeah, it's a SMD21. Yep. So it can run CircuitPython quite easily, and it's neat because it's it's uh, cat shaped. It's made in Mexico um, by a group of Mexican um, makers and yep. hackers, and it's adorable. I mean, look at this. It's a cat yep. shaped. And that's in our section, all aboard. So every week when there's a new board or boards that support CircuitPython, we'll put it in there. Um, this is kind of big news. Uh, this is the president of Costa Rica hanging out with some kids using Circuit uh, Playground. Sweet. Deshipu has a couple cool projects. This was the sketch. I wanted to put this in here. Uh, this is, okay, what if you had like a circuit playground and you like Python and you could wear it? It bolts onto that PCB yeah. using like these uh, SMT bolt pads and then it's battery powered. So it's like a, it's a, like a biscuit add-on that turns it into a barrette. Yeah, so I really like this. And then also uh, Deshipu was busy. This is the latest version of the Pew Pew Shield for um, run circuit python, a little gaming platform. A little badgy thing, yeah. gaming badge. And then this is a project, it's kind of nice to see these because there's a lot of stuff we haven't had time to get to. There's these little things called Buddha boxes and they make music. Um, someone's making one with a circuit playground powered by circuit python. And you see those capacitive touch pads. Yeah. Using capacitive touch, you can add lots of inputs. And then EduBlocks is about to release their version of EduBlocks on their site. So it's Blockly Circuit, runs, Blockly Python. Yeah, that runs Circuit Python, so you'll be able to do block coding, Circuit Python. Interesting. You can also flip over to uh, text base at any time. So and this might work out really well with the Circuit Python library that yeah. Katni wrote for uh, the Circuit Playground Express because it's very minimal. I mean, this is shows like digital right and, and all that, and you can totally do that. But yeah. the Circuit Python library is really compact, so you could probably get a lot going in only a couple blocks. And then made with Moo Moo's our favorite editor. Go to codewith.moo. And uh, this was a neat project Moo. that was featured on madewith.moo. It's a circuit playground, circuit python powered chainsaw using audio and modding a cheap toy and turning it into a great Halloween prop. Um, on the Adafruit learning system in the circuit python section, we have a lot of guides. A lot. Tons. As, as in over 100. We have 108 guides, 925 pages of circuit python projects and we're updating a lot of our projects so for example mm -hmm. we had this as an arduino project in the past now it is a circuit python project yeah um mikey sklart our friend from to the no, consequences new mexico is going through um, a lot of our older guides that use the original gemma and the original trinket making sure they work with the new trinket and gemma um sometimes with arduino and sometimes with circuit python and also writing circuit python code i mean these guides have just been this is a classic old guide yeah. um, that becky did with this cool wig um, but now you can do it with uh, a circuit python board as well and we answered some of this this is uh, a ton of low-cost easy to make cup robots that also happen to be powered by cricket and circuit python that you can make a matter of minutes and you can code them up right away um, we also have jp's project that's an updated guide and also a guide specifically mm -hmm just for doing audio and, and this is pictures. Showing, yeah, this is showing off the new Display I.O. Um, library in CircuitPython in 4.0, which allows you to very easily uh, display images on a TFT, just like 
we made audio playback really easy in um, Circuit Python. That was something I really wanted because people love adding audio. And that'll be really easy to add imagery uh, and graphics to your project because we'll have Circuit Python and Python Power. Sure. Um, so in this case, you just drag and drop images onto the disk drive of CircuitPy, and, and it shows up. Circuit Python support for hardware continues to grow. We're adding new sensors and new breakouts all the time. We keep adding drivers, improving them, and well, we update how many do them. You have? Well, I'm glad you asked. We have 104 what? Circuit Python libraries. 104 libraries? Yes. So all like the most popular drivers and sensors and yes. LEDs and everything. It gets yeah. all supported. This week's new library was the Max 31856. We had updated libraries: NeoPixel Trellis, MCP 230XX, EPD MCP 3XXX, MPR 121, and then we also had a bunch more. All this is available on learn.adafruit.com. Category like Circuit Python. You can go to the community on Discord, Adafruit.it. We have this in, of course, the awesome list. And we also made some changes with the newsletter, so we also have it on the blog. Yeah. So it goes out. You should still subscribe, though. Get in your inbox. Yep. And that is Code Plus Community Circuit Python News. We had a lot going on this week. 